Ho, 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 ho. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Star Rail lovers, never haters. Welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail reaction. I believe this trailer that we're going to see here, the Jade trailer, is the final piece of the puzzle, if I'm not mistaken, for Jade. It is 4 a.m. Prime time to be reacting to these things. And we're going to see if the trailer still stacks up to all the other ones, which I'm assuming it will. So, so to kind of give a little bit of a verdict here on Jade, uh, as you might have seen from my other Jade reaction drip content marathon that I usually do, I am most likely, if not guaranteed to skip Jade. I'm probably going to pull a 10 shot, maybe a 20 shot on her, even though I doubt it. She's pretty much the topaz of follow-ups. Even though she's erudition, there's no like elation path specifically. There's people that do elation in like every path though. Ability, erudition. I think the hunt, because technically Topaz is a hunt character. But either way, Jade is really, really good for pure fiction and for just general follow up teams, which I don't have at all. And after Firefly's whole debacle, which is out on YouTube as well. I am in rest mode until something really catches my eye and my privy. Because at this point, similar to my Genshin account, my Star Rail account is pretty decently stacked up to where now it's really just luxury if I get new characters. I don't necessarily need them. I have more than enough to make at least two good teams for any content in the game. Unless they need more than two good teams like Genshin where they release the Imaginarium Theater which requires like, what, 18 fucking characters? Jesus Christ. But, you know, that's Genshin. We don't talk about that. It's the disgusting, ugly child of Hoyo. And Jade is beautiful. But either way, the main way I always categorize and rate these characters is, number one, are they meta? Like I guess that with Jade, she probably is for follow-up, which I don't use. Number two, are they hot? Jade, absolutely. And number three, do I like their lore? Jade's lore is really interesting. We got introduced to her in the final part of the story we have thus far. Basically us, you know, finishing up Penacone. And she's very interesting. She's definitely going to be intricate with, and obviously very light spoilers here, but she's definitely going to be intricate in some people's plot lines, especially the Stellaron Hunters. You know who if you've played the story. But I like her lore a lot. She's very interesting, and this is the thing I appreciate in certain games, and not just games, just any medium at all. She's not an outright villain. She's obviously a part of the IPC, and the IPC, for the most part, is seen as evil. But the more we see the IPC, eventually with what they did... Uh, with Aventurine and Penacone, the more we see they're not really straight up villains that are just bad for no reason, if at all. So Jade is probably going to be the same way. I'm really hoping we see more of her in the future, and we definitely will when they start focusing more on the IPC, which I'm assuming they're going to do when they get to Diamond, if they ever get to Diamond, the big head honcho. But either way, these trailers usually go sicko mode, they usually go hard, they usually have nice ass songs too. So let's take a look at it. But current verdict, I'm not getting Jade. Oh my god, this guy's Has sweating through the you? mask. Or oh, there's her a way. snake. There's a way. Bruh, she's literally sitting on them, petting her but snake. But a will can also bring death. Oh my god, she took her stab. But she's- Oh my god! Tell me. He's a dom. She's a dom. He's shaking! You naughty child. What the? It's not me. Bruh. This is insanity. He's literally a snake. Oh my god. Yo, this song is insane. Oh my. This looks no fun, bro. Why is it so quality? It's because I don't pay premium. Oh my god, she's whipping him. Okay, let's fuck. No. Yo. I shall take it. See, wrote lipstick on him. There's never just one. Yeah, this is insane. These are her own people. The quantity is not She's bad, whipping them. but the quality is lacking. Why are they all against her? Are they rats? But they have guys. Yo, they're sweating through the mask. You woke it up. Oh no, they woke up the beast, the demon. Oh my god. This definitely has to do with her power. Oh my god. Really giving me sparkle vibes to how trippy it is. Sparkle and the uh, Acheron. Oh my god, she whipped all of them. And they're all probably ejaculating. It reminds me of Boot Hill with the posters. Wow. Oh my god. 
Once the whale is ignited, it will spark even more desire. He likes it. Too bad. The farce is over. Oh no. We just came. Are the ashes of greed. The ashes of creation. I love how every ending they change like the way the um the star rail symbol looks. I think that's so good. But either way, you know, I'm glad they haven't missed yet. Other stuff out there is a, a little weaker. I don't want to include the Zenless stuff just yet, but, you know, some trailers, I, I don't want to say everything or anything yet so far is a miss. I don't think anything is that bad. Now, granted, if you compare it to the very beginning trailers of the Genshin characters like Kea, which I saw recently again, it's night and day where they came from versus where they are. But in general, I think Jade's thing is great. And, you know, despite not really getting her, not caring for her gameplay, for obvious reasons, I still think she's probably going to be an amazing character. A lot of people are going to like her. Obviously, her numbers are up and everything. I haven't really seen too much of her, but she's going to be good for follow-up. She's literally the Kafka of follow-up. But that's another thing this trailer reminded me of. It literally reminded me of, like, Kafka vibes, too. They were literally tied up getting dominated. Like... This is something Hoyo is leaning more into very overtly, and especially in Zenless. In Zenless, one of the characters literally has her grippers out in your face. And it's like, holy moly, Hoyo knows what they're doing. Like, it is no joke. But, um, you yeah, know, this trailer was amazing. Same old, same old. Which is a good same old, same old. It's not bad. And, uh, yeah, it was really good. Not gonna roll for her, if at all. I'll maybe do a 10 or 20 shot, but if I actually win her, I'm gonna be sad as fuck, because I don't really want her. But I guess she'll help out eventually with my follow-up teams, if I ever build them. Or in pure fiction. But either way, that's going to be it. I hope everyone enjoyed, and watch me at Twitch TV Sus Technics channel. Eee!